It's that time of the month again, the PlayStation Extra and PlayStation Premium games have been announced for July and are set to become available on July 16th, meaning more gaming with Platinums and trophies for us to go for. This month is looking pretty good with a nice selection of genres, with one of the two biggest games added being Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII Reunion, available on PS4 and PS5. Crisis Core is a remaster of the original PSP release where you'll be taking control of Zack, much like the recent Final Fantasy game remakes. You'll be taking out enemies with a brilliant action RPG combat. For the Platinum, you'll be playing for about 40 hours, with the difficulty being about 4 out of 10. I actually played this one when it released, but didn't grab the Platinum, because half of the trophies are missable. With the guide, however, you'll be able to do all the trophies and get the Platinum in one single playthrough. It will be a bit of a grind completing every side mission and grabbing all collectibles. Tactically moving into the second of what I would consider the biggest games is Remnant 2. This is a stellar addition to the game lineup with amazing third person shooter combat. You'd be mowing down enemies and great bosses, leveling up, unlocking different classes and perks, and best of all, you can tackle this whole game solo or in co-op with friends. The Platinum will take you around 30 hours and is a 4 out of 10 difficulty if playing co-op. If you're playing solo, it's going to be a little bit harder. You'll have to complete multiple playthroughs since the world changes when you complete it and revisit with different bosses showing up each time, of which you'll need to take out for some of the trophies. At launch, some of the trophies were actually a little bit bugged, but are now fixed. I've actually got this Platinum and really enjoyed it. The grind at the end can be a little bit annoying, but if you go and splash out on the DLC and play that along the game while getting the Platinum, that kind of negates the grind at the end, making it a lot more fun. Keep in mind, this is a PS5 only game. Rolling into game 3, we have Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. This is a top-down RPG where the choices you make really matter. It's pretty hardcore, and you'll need to be hardcore if you want to get this game's Platinum. Some of you might remember this game since it was actually included in one of my hardest Platinum videos. With a 10 out of 10 difficulty and taking 350 hours, yep, 350, having to play on the unfair difficulty and having some crazy requirements. If you've got this Platinum, well played, because on PSMP, only 24 people have actually achieved this insane feat. You can play this on the PS4 and PS5. Strategically position itself as our fourth game is one I actually really like the look of. Not seen this one before, it's Mount and Blade 2 Bannerlord, a strategy action RPG where you'll be building your own army and doing everything that involves commanding them, managing them, and even being able to actually actively take part in the large scale battles. Honestly, this really makes me want to play Kesson 3. Does anyone remember that game on PS2? If so, have you got any recommendations for a game that's more recent that's similar to it? Anyway, as for the Platinum, I couldn't actually find much information on it, but what I could find is it's apparently around a 6 out of 10 in difficulty and will take around 100 to 150 hours. And like the previous game, not many people have this Platinum. Only four people on PSMP have popped this plat. So if you're up for the challenge, you can attempt this on the PS4 and PS5. And the final two are both No More Heroes games. No More Heroes 3 is an action adventure hack and slash open world game that I've actually heard a lot about, but never actually played them. So this might be the excuse I needed. You'll have control of Travis as you try and climb the superhero rankings completing part-time jobs, which are basically mini-games, so you can earn cash, which you'll need to spend to take on the bosses. This actually sounds really fun, you get a bike in the open world, but how is the Platinum? Once again, I can't find much information on it, but I do know more people have this one than the previous two games, so that's promising. It does, however, seem like it could be a decent challenge and also take some time, since you'll need to beat the game on the hardest difficulty and pretty much get 100%, which also includes a lot of collecting. You'll also need to get an SS rank on all of the bosses. We have both PS4 and PS5 versions for this one. Travis Strikes Back, No More Heroes. This is the older of the two, and like 3 is an action hack and slash, but without the open world. As for the Platinum, it seems to be a theme with this month's games. Once again, 
I cannot find much info on it, but it's very similar to No More Heroes 3, so expect it to be on a similar scale, but probably shorter since it's not open world, but it will be a challenge. No PS5 version here, so PS4 it is. Shuffling its way into the lineup is Deadcraft, a top-down zombie survival action game with survival mechanics, crafting and a levelling system, where you play as a character who is half zombie and half human. As for the Platinum, I'm seeing in some places it taking around 35 hours and I couldn't say too much about its difficulty. You'll have to max out your wanted level, defeat 500 zombies, complete 100 missions, unlock all skills and learn all recipes. It'll be available on the PS4. We'll be hitting the snow in this next game, Steep. An odd inclusion here since it's actually been on PlayStation Plus before, so most of us probably already got it. But Steep is a massive open world game that has you taking part in many different activities like skiing, wingsuits, snowboarding and paragliding, all with friends or alone. You can also get many more activities if you're willing to spend a little bit of money on the DLC. The Platinum takes around 30 hours and is a 7 out of 10 difficulty and has you reaching reputation level 25, becoming a legend in 6 different activities and earning a whopping 115 gold medals in challenges. It hits the PS4. And finally bring your friends along for the Jackbox Party Pack 9. With support of up to 10 players and the ability to use your phone, you can bring your whole family on PS4 and PS5. The Platinum doesn't exist, as it doesn't have one, but it does come with 20 bronze trophies to earn. Without a guide, I've got no idea on its difficulty or length, but it's a party game, so it could be super long and tedious, or it could be a 5 minute thing. And that's all of the extra games. Do keep in mind, it's your last chance to play 6 games that will be leaving the lineup on the 16th of July. Dismantle, Fast and Furious Rise of the Shifters, Kingdom 2 Crowns, my Little Pony, a Maritain Bay Adventure, Saints Row 4, re-elected, and finally, Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. With that, let's move on to some better news with the classics we're getting this month with Premium. Up first is Job Simulator VR. A really fun game that's even better in VR, as the name suggests, it tasks you with completing jobs, but with a silly twist of course. The Platinum will only take 4 hours and is an easy 1 out of 10 difficulty. It comes with 12 trophies, one of them being the Platinum, and 11 of gold. Nice! So these next three are all new classics, so I can't say anything about their trophies, the difficulty, or length. I also have no idea if they'll even have trophies. So up first is Summoner, a PS2 action RPG where you're gifted with the mark of the Summoner. That grants you powers, allowing you to summon a demon that he hoped would save his village, but instead destroyed it. Who would have seen that coming? It's playable on PS4 and PS5. Stylishly coming in is Ratchet and Clank Size Matters, a PSP game that'll have you exploring with our favourite Lombax, Ratchet, and our favourite robot, Clank, defeating enemies with a large variety of weapons, with some fun platforming. We know what to expect from Ratchet and Clank games. This one is playable on PS4 and PS5. And for our final premium game is another PSP classic, John Dark. Dark, I'm not sure how you pronounce this one, but we'll be exploring a 15th century France and England during a hundred year war. We control John, Jean, Jean, and a party moving between cities and engaging in turn based combat, all while improving our skills and gear. Also available and playable on PS4. And PS5. And that's all the games we'll be playing this month. What do you think of this month's games? Are you going to be playing them or platting them? Let me know all your thoughts down in the comments. I've been Mr. Leaning, happy trophy hunting, and I'll catch you all later this month when the PS Plus games for August are announced.